you don't have enough vitamin D, it can lead to some health concerns. But a recent study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association shows vitamin D supplements do not improve cardiovascular health. Here to talk about the study is Dr. Craig Siegel. He's an interventional cardi cardiologist at the Heart Hospital of Austin at St. David's Round Rock Medical Center. That must be really long on your business card. It is. <laughs> well, good morning to you. So good morning. Tell us, you know, first and foremost, a lack of vitamin D can lead to what? Right. So we all know that vitamin D is important for healthy bones. But what we didn't know was whether vitamin D was essential for a healthy heart. And that's what the study looked at. And what did the study find? So VITAL was a large uh, randomized primary prevention study that enrolled 25,000 men and women. Half of them received high dose vitamin D, 2,000 international units daily, and half received placebo. And what they found in the study that was published in January was that uh, there was no difference in the primary uh, combined endpoint, which was cardiovascular death, heart attack, or stroke. So that really answers the question uh, whether vitamin D supplementation in high doses does anything for your heart. Was there a thought that it actually made a difference before the study? There was. For many years, there have been smaller, primarily observational studies mm -hmm. uh, that have suggested a link between low vitamin D levels and heart disease. But whether that was causal or not was unclear. So I think this study really answered uh, that question. And so what does this really mean for people who uh, you know, have cardiovascular disease or concerns? Should they just stop taking their vitamin D? No, because vitamin D deficiency is common and the recommended daily allowance is anywhere from 600 to 800 international units daily. So if you're taking vitamin D as prescribed by a physician for healthy bones, you absolutely should continue taking it. And so when we talk about heart health, because mm -hmm. if people are trying to figure out the best things to do to keep their hearts healthy, you've got a whole list of things they should do, right? Right, but you know, first and foremost, I think that we need to uh, keep in mind is exercise. Uh, it has been shown uh, in many, many studies that your fitness level is a powerful and independent risk factor for heart mm -hmm. disease. The good news, though, is that it's also been demonstrated that even small increases in fitness level will translate to a significant reduction in cardiovascular death and all-cause mortality by as much as 15 to 20 percent. So my patients know when they come to see me, one of the first questions I'm going to ask them is, what have you been doing for exercise? Mm, and so, and when you say that small causal, even if you have to start small, right. the important thing is to just start, right? Right, because the interesting thing is that the people who benefited the most in all of these studies were the ones that were the least fit when they started. Wow. So starting at any age at any level, you're going to see improvement and that will translate to better cardiovascular health and overall health. All right, so get out there and get active. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Siegel, for joining you. us today. And if any of you missed this interview, it's going to be uploaded onto KB.com right after the newscast. We'll be right back.